Joining me is fitness and nutrition expert Ashley Walter Pettit to tell us more about some delicious and healthy recipes that will be a winner at any party. Ashley, it's so good to see you too again. Good to see you too. How you been? Everything I've good? I've been really good, yeah. But hey, New Year's resolution time is still going, let's hope, okay. for some people. Right. So sure. that's part of this too, because you don't want to wreck it all in one day. Okay, so we got a great layout here. Yes. I like the football feel for the theme for the big game on Sunday. <laughs> just a little bit. Just let's a take us bit. through. Where do you want to start? Okay, all so goodness here. I love to do things that are recipe rehabs. It's kind of my jam. So I don't want to take people away from what football food actually is. So sure. I still have things that are kind of man approved, but but also the ladies at the party are gonna dig. So bacon wrapped pineapple is one of my favorite things Ooh. in the entire like, world. I've heard of bacon wrapped dates. Oh, see, no, blech, too boring. You've gotta do the pineapple. I love All it. I do is pan grill the pineapple and then wrap pre-made bacon around it. You can also just put it in the oven and roast it for 10 minutes um, all assembled together. I also put some pineapple on there that doesn't have bacon. Not everybody's a huge fan. True. But it's as simple as that. However, if you want a dipping sauce, I do dip those in teriyaki sauce too. Now, so the sauce, we got a couple sauces That's here. That's for my hot dogs. So I'm a big we, yeah, fan yeah, of hot dogs and dinner sausages. However, I feel like it's all about the flavor, so you don't eat too much. So I did spicy dinner sausages that are made with chicken, but then I also did all natural beef hot dogs, and I cut them up. It's all about being mini and portion control. So you don't want to be that person that keeps going like this. So serve them small. Okay, so we, we won in the first quarter. Let's keep it moving here <laughs> okay. in the second quarter. So I love to use cauliflower as a base for a lot of things. Okay. So instead of doing a little unhealthy creamy dip, I did a buffalo cauliflower dip with blue cheese mm. on top. So I used cauliflower as the base. I steamed it. I pureed it. I put in buffalo sauce that doesn't have cream in it, and then I add the blue cheese in there. You're still getting some dairy, but it's not as yeah, Way more healthy. regretful. And I've gotten big into the cauliflower mash yes, kind of feel. So is cauliflower is a great substitute in a lot of ways for a lot of stuff. It is, and it's inexpensive, and I'm all about the quickness of this, too, because I want to enjoy the day and not be cooking all day. So those come in pre-steamed packages. What are the, uh, obviously, carrots. So jicama and carrots. I like to do alternatives. I don't really love heard of celery. jicama. Is that weird? Should I have heard of that? No, I mean... Is Danielle rolling her eyes somewhere? <laughs> jicama? Have we, should I have heard of jicama? No, it's kind of bizarre. Kind okay. of. I mean, it looks like a root, and all you have to do is shave it like a carrot, and then just chop it into big pieces. I mean, I love it. It's 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 kind of Swedish. No, it's kind of, it's kind of like... Hickelma, who knew? <laughs> Can I try it's it? It's like a light carrot. Uh, that's what I it's describe like it It's like a potato and an apple. It's kind, kind of, of like yeah. A... Oh, I like that. Oh, good. It is like a potato and an hickama. apple. Hickelma. Okay. And then you just want to get some hickama. You just want to make sure that you cut that and you don't leave it out for too long because it does get jelly. So fourth okay. quarter, two minute warning. We're coming Again, down to the stretch here. About I love to put seconds. things in low carb versions. So I did a sriracha based egg salad made with Greek yogurt and a little bit of mayonnaise, not all mayonnaise, and I put it in lettuce cups because. That's just how you do. And you probably have pretzels and all those other carbs out there, so why do you need to have sandwiches too? Here's your world so. champion. She just won the big game with this <laughs> setup right here. Hey, can you come do this at my party? Absolutely, absolutely. Perfect. She's probably got a couple stops to make. That's Ashley Walter Pettit. She is the queen of all things good. Thank you, Ashley. For more info, check out livingwithashley.com. Plus, she'll be at Mariano's in the West Loop sharing more game day recipes. Check out her site for more details.